learning outcomes after studying this module you shall be able to know what is blood and the composition of blood you will be able to examine the blood you will be able to know the source of blood how do you know that examined sample is of human or animal that also you can examine you will be able to know what is the age of blood stain you will be able to identify the blood groups and confirmatory test for blood introduction blood blood is the red fluid that circulates in our blood vessels that is veins and arteries the main function of blood is to act as the body's transport system but it also has a major role in the body's defense against infection there is no substitute for blood it cannot be made or manufactured donors are the only source of blood for patients who need it blood is one of the most important physical evidence which is frequently encountered at the crime scene as a pool of blood droplet stains etc it can be found in almost every type of criminal activity involving physical violence like murder assault rape etc at crime scene in the form of valuable evidence now blood stain are of two types one is the visible blood stain and the second is the invisible blood stain now let us learn about the components of blood in vertebrates it is composed of cells suspended in blood plasma plasma which constitute 55% of body blood fluid is mostly water that is 92% by volume and contains dissipated proteins glucose mineral ions hormones carbon dioxide that is the plasma being the main medium for excretory product transportation and blood cells themselves albumin is the main protein in plasma and it functions to regulate the colloidal osmotic pressure of the blood now first is the rbc which is also called as erythrocytes red blood cells also called erythrocytes are the most common type of blood cell and the vertebrate organism's principal means of delivering oxygen to the body tissue by blood flow through the circulatory system rbc's take up the oxygen in the lungs or gills and release it into tissues while squeezing through the body's capillaries in humans mature red blood cells are flexible and oval biconcave disc they lack a cell nucleus and most organelles in order to accumulate maximum space for hemoglobin approximately 2.4 million new erythrocytes are produced per second in human adults the cells develop in the bone marrow and circulate for about 100 to 120 days in the body before their components are recycled by macrophages Each circulation takes about 20 seconds. Approximately a quarter of cells in the human body are red blood cells. Next component is WBC, which are also called leukocytes. They are the cells of immune system that are involved in defense system of the body, that is protecting body against various infection diseases and foreign invaders all leukocytes are produced and derived from multipotent cells in the bone marrow known as hemopoietic stem cell leukocytes are found throughout the body including the blood and lymphatic system five different 
and diverse types of leukocytes exist. These types are distinguished by their physical and functional characteristics. Monocytes and neutrophils are phagocytic in nature. Next is platelets that is also called thrombocytes. These are the component of blood whose function along with the coagulation factor is to stop bleeding by clumping and clogging blood vessel injuries. Platelets have no cell nucleus. They are fragments of cytoplasm which are derived from megakerocytes of the bone marrow and then enter the circulation. These unactivated platelets are biconvex discolites that is lens shaped structures 2 to 3 micrometer in the greatest diameter. And the last component is the plasma. Blood plasma is the pale yellow liquid component of blood and normally holds the blood cells in the whole blood in suspension. This makes plasma the extracellular matrix of the blood cell. It makes up about 55% of the body's total blood volume. It is the intravascular fluid part of extravascular fluid that is all body fluid outside the cell. Now dear student we will learn about the major functions of the blood that is the transportation, maintenance of body temperature, control of pH either acidic or basic, removal of toxin from the body and the excretion. Now let us learn about the examination of blood in detail. First is the physical examination. In the natural light, the blood stain appears as brown, reddish brown, clot or crystals of reddish brown color. If the stain is clear and visible, then examine it under UV light at 230 or 269 nanometer of wavelength. Next is the presumptive or screening test. The blood stain obtained from suspected area contaminated with the material should be tested for positive blood stain. Presentive tests produce a color, reaction or release of light in presence of catalytic property of the blood. Now next is the phenophthalene test. It is also known to be Castromere test. Phenophthalene is reduced by zinc powder in a strongly alkaline medium. If this reduced phenophthalene is oxidized by oxygen liberated by the action of peroxidase on hydrogen peroxide that is H2O2, then a pink or purple color is obtained. If the stain of blood, the sensitivity of this phenophthalene test is about 1 is to 5 flags. The reagents which are used First, we have to make stock solution in which 2 gram phenophthalene, 20 gram potassium hydroxide, 100 ml distilled water, 20 gram zinc dust. Next, we have to make working solution ethanol that is 10 ml, phenophthalene stock that is 2 ml, distilled water 10 ml, ethanol 2 ml and hydrogen peroxide 10 ml. Now, reagent preparation. The reagent is formed by adding phenophthalene 2 gram, potassium hydroxide 20 gram, distilled water 100 ml. Mix and add zinc powder and boil under reflux that is 2 to 3 hours until the stock solution is formed. Cool and decad into a bottle containing some zinc to keep in the reduced form. Now add ethanol that is 10 ml and phenophthalene stock solution 2 ml, distilled water 10 ml, and again ethanol 2 ml and 3% hydrogen peroxide H2O2 that is 10 ml as working solution. Hydrogen peroxide is used in every color reaction or in other words it is responsible for color obtained in the reaction. If the color obtained is pink then it confirms the presence of blood. Now let us go through the procedure. A small cutting swab or extract 
of the suspected blood stain is placed on a filter paper or spot test paper. Two or three drops of ethanol are placed on the stain. Two drops of working phenolphthalein solution are added to stain. After waiting to ensure that no color develops at the stage, two or three drops of hydrogen peroxide are added. An intense pink color indicates the positive test for peroxidized activity and indicates the presence of hemoglobin. Next is tetramethyl benzadine that is TMB test. In this we use the reagent acetate buffer that is sodium acetate 5 gram glacial acetic acid 13 ml distilled water 57 ml. Then we also make working solution in which we use TMB solution 1.5 gram acetate buffer 20 ml. Now let us go through the reagent preparation. First we have to take 1.5 gram of benzadine and 13 ml of glacial acetic acid. Then we will add 57 ml of distilled water. After shaking benzadine solution is ready for test. Now let us go through procedure. Place cutting or swabbing of the stain on a filter paper or spot test paper. A drop of TMB solution is placed on the stain followed by a drop of 3% of hydrogen peroxide and mix with the glass rod. Appearance of immediate blue green color is a positive test for peroxidized activity that is indicative of presence of hemoglobin. Next is luminol test. Luminol reagent we have to make first in which we take sodium perborate 7 gram 3 amino phthal hydroxide 1 gram, sodium bicarbonate 5 gram. Then we prepare the reagent. The reagent are formed by taking 0.7 gram of sodium perborate and 1 gram of 3 amino phthalohydrate is mixed with 5 gram of sodium bicarbonate. Now comes to the procedure. Take the suspected blood stain and add few drops of luminol reagent. The appearance of fluorescent color indicates positive test of the blood. Next is leucomelagite green test. Reagent leucomelagite green 1 gram, sodium perborate 3.2 gram, glacial acetic acid 65% solution that is 66 ml, distilled water 33 ml. Now reagent preparation. The reagent of leucomelachite green test is formed by the combination of leucomelachite green that is 0.1 gram, sodium perborate 3.2 gram and glacial acetic acid 66 ml and 33 ml of distilled water. If the color appears to be green, it confirms the presence of blood. Now let us go through the procedure. Add leucomelagite green solution on the stain. If green color appears, it indicates the presence of blood. Now next are the confirmatory tests of blood. First is Takayama test. It is also known as hemochromogen test. Takayama reagent. Stratulative solution of glucose that is 3 ml. Paradigm solution that is 3 ml. 10% of NaOH that is sodium hydroxide solution 3 ml, glacial acetic acid 7 ml. Reagent preparation, take 3 ml of saturated solution of glucose, 3 ml of pyridin solution and 3 ml of NaOH solution along with 7 ml of glacial acetic acid. Now come to the procedure, place the material to be tested on a microscopic slide and cover with a cover slip. Add a drop of Takayama reagent and allow to flow under the cover slip. Warm the slide gently on a hot plate at 65 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 20 seconds. Allow to cool and observe under microscope at 100x. 
the appearance of pink needle shaped crystal of pyridine hemochromogen that is pyridine ferroprotoporphin is positive reaction for heme and confirms the presence of hemoglobin. Now next is Tichman's test. First we have to prepare Tichman's reagent in which KCA, KBR, KI is used 0.1 gram each then glacial acetic acid 10 ml. Now reagent preparation. For the Tichman test the reagent is formed by combination of KCL, KBR and KI at about 0.1 gram each in 100 ml of glacial acetic acid. The reagent reacts with hemoglobin and give brownish rhombic crystal which confirms the presence of blood. Now let us come to the procedure. Place material to be tested on a microscopic slide and cover with a cover slip. Let the reagent flow under cover slip. Warm the slide gently on a hot plate at about 65 degrees Celsius for 10 to 20 seconds. Allow it to cool and observe under microscope at 100x. The appearance of brown rhombohedron shaped structures of crystals ferroprotoporphyrin chloride is a positive reaction for him. Next is the microscopic test. Microscopic method of examination is having para amount importance relating to the identification of blood stain. First is determination of the species of origin of nucleated RBC along with the cell structure. Next is the sex determination by examining chromatin bodies in the leukocytes. Then the detection of blood related pathological condition. Next is spectroscopic method. In this method identification of hemoglobin and its derivatives is done by characteristic absorption band when viewed through microscope. Now let us go through the test. A small portion of suspected stain as small as 2 mm is put in 0.5% of potassium cyanide solution for 15 minutes and then filtered. The filtrate thus obtained is taken in 1 cm. Cell and UV light is passed with spectrometer. The absorption is observed in 300 to 600 micron. The absorption maximum is obtained at 422 millimicron shows the presence of cyclohemoglobin. Next is detection of species origin of plant. The biological evidence has been identified necessarily to determine and confirm whether it is of human origin or not. If it is non-human origin then to which species it belongs to the species specific protein in the blood stain or other body tissue may be identified with the help of species specific antibodies. The species specific protein for blood stain or tissue are extracted in normal saline that is 8.5 gram sodium chloride in 1 liter of distilled water or 5% of ammonia solution. The various methods are applied to detect the species origin like the first is precipitin tube method. Take 6 precipitin tubes, number can vary on the number of antisera used and place them vertically in a precipitin tube stand and label them. Put a drop of the blood stain or tissue extract in the tubes. Carefully add one drop of anti serum for species origin that is anti human serum, anti foul serum, anti dog serum, anti cow serum, anti goat serum etc. Along with the walls of tube. Leave the undisturbed for 30 minutes at room temperature. Then 
carefully examine the white ring at the interference of two solution. If precipitate is formed, it belongs to specific antiserum. Now next is the double diffusion method. In this method, both the reactants, the antigen and antibody diffuse towards each other in agar gel plate and when a antigen combines with its specific antibody at optimum proportion precipitin are formed. Fill the central well with tissues extract and peripheral wells with different antisera for species origin like anti-human serum, anti-foul serum, anti-dog serum, anti-cow serum, anti-goat serum etc. Cover the petri dish and keep gel in a moist chamber for overnight. Now examine the gel for the presence of precipitin band formation. Next is the crossover electrophoresis. In a buffer gel, the strain extract antigen is placed in cathodic well and the antiserum in the anodic well when electric current is applied the globulin antibodies migrate cathodically because of electro endosmosis the other serum protein migrate anodically a precipitin reaction occurs midway between the paired well when an antigen combines with its specific antibody fill the cathodic side well of the pair with stain extract and anodic well with species specific antiserum again it may be of anti human serum anti dog serum anti cow serum anti goat serum etc now place the slide on the electrophoresis chamber the stain extract should be nearest to the cathode and antiserum nearest to the anode and connect the gel to tank buffer chambers by two pieces of filter papers on each side run electrophoresis for 20 minutes at 150 volts record the conditions after the electrophoresis switch off the power supply and remove the slide and then observe the slide with aid of a lamp. A fine white line of precipitin between a pair of wells is a positive reaction. Now next is the age of blood stain. Age of blood stain can be calculated by color and nature of the stain. Fresh blood stains are bright red in color, moist and sticky. Within 24 hours the stain turns reddish brown in color. After 24 hours, the stain turns dark brown and finally black. Next is detection of blood group. After determining the origin of blood, blood group is to be determined. It is also to be examined by prosecution to mention the blood group. The modern serological techniques have derived blood in two or three constituent classes for discrimination of human blood that is A, B, A, B and O. The blood group of typing antigen. Although several types of antigens have been discovered so far, but in case of dried blood stains are concerned only with ABO, MN and RH antigenic system have been found of practical utility in crime work. Next is the polymorphic enzyme. These enzymes are located in red blood cells which are responsible to catalyze biochemical reaction in the body. The enzyme which have same functions to perform but different physical chemical properties are called isoenzymes. Many isoenzymes have been identified in dried blood stain using electrophoresis techniques. Few examples of these isoenzymes and Phosphoglucum mutase PGM and adenylate kinase AK, erythrocyte acid phosphatase EAP and esters D. PGM system which have three common variants PGM1, PGM21, 
PGM2 has been found very stable. Next is the RH system. This system however now not found useful to analysis of dried blood stain. It is more often to used in disputed paternity cases in which whole blood analysis is done. Next is the factors affecting detection of blood group from blood stain like putrefication and thermal condition. Now let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Blood is an important evidence found at the crime scene that leads to the further investigation of various crimes. Blood examination has an important role in solving suicidal, accidental and homicidal cases. Various tests are performed to identify and confirm blood stain of human or animal origin. Identification of paternity and maternity cases by blood grouping. Species and origin of blood detection gives indication of various animals. And the last is the determination of age of the blood stain. Thank you.